Self-defense tip number three. We're getting home slowly but surely. Now, I don't know how this happens, but I've actually seen this happen so many times in a bar room, where in a, even when I was in school, somebody's in a headlock punching and going crazy. Uh, I don't know how it happens, but it happens a lot. I guess people don't have the education to be smart fighters. If you end up in a headbutt, I mean in a, in a, in a headlock, in a headlock, down here, there's a lot of things you can do. First one, I'm just going to show you how to break away. You remember these little nerves we were talking about up under here? Just push like that and then put him into my favorite headlock. All right? Piece of cake. Now, if I don't like that and I can't get him, he's got one of them big old bull necks like Remo has. He's got me down here and I'm fumbling around. I may reach up in his eyes or under his nose and pull him straight back and then get some of this other stuff. Or twist him around into my favorite headlock. Or if he comes back in, I'll give you all the choice to work. He's back here trying to hit on me. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to pick him straight up off the ground and snap his neck. All right. So let's got three options, work them back and forth, and have some fun. Hey, Jimbo here with a quick announcement. What if you had a handful of simple moves that could end a fight in a couple of seconds, even against larger, stronger men? Well, that's exactly what I've got for you. And it's yours for free from the link in the description. 15 ultra brutal fight any moves that are surprisingly simple to learn. Outside the US Special Forces, not a lot of guys know these, but when it hits the fan and your life is on the line and you need something truly nasty to end a fight in a couple of seconds, you're gonna to wanna to know these. This brutal hand-to-hand -hand training is yours for free. Just get to the description below and click on the link. Okay, back to our video. Self-defense tip number two. Now, another defense on the frontal choke, and this is probably one of the most decisive of all the moves that we've shown you so far. Uh, it puts an attacker down and out. Now, with the frontal choke, what we're gonna do first, okay, the same method, we're gonna go in between, but as we come up, we're gonna break in, and automatically, the thumbs are going into the eyes. Okay, after I break that, push the eyes, I'm gonna drive the forehead into the malfactory area, Put the kick in, drive, and shove them back and out. Now, one point that I want to make on this, the head button, we're going to show you a little bit. Randy's going to give you a little instruction on how to deliver one of these properly. It is a very effective blow, one of the most effective that I know of. A 90-pound man can take a 275-pound person and knock him out with one shot. The problem with the head butt, if you're not willing to practice this, and use this instruction that we gave you on this, only use it in a life or death situation. Let's say, example, a woman who's trapped in her house and knows this person is gonna beat her and rape her, because you can do damage to yourself. We're gonna give you some instruction on it. It is a devastating blow, but it's also a dangerous one. And if you look back at this tape, you notice when I struck, I struck with my back, I didn't whip my neck. The power comes from the back. We're going to show you the technique one time, and then Randy's going to show you the fine art of headbutting. Okay, grab again. Once again, the choke comes in, break out. Drive thumbs into the eyes. Okay, headbutt. Driving the forehead into the malfactory, knee to the groin, and drive them back. Hey, don't forget about those 15 brutal fight enders. This training is yours for free from the link in the description. I honestly don't know how long the powers that be will allow this stuff on the platform. It's pretty over the top, but it's easy to learn. So get to the link in the description right away. Number one. Okay, this time we're gonna go with a rear full arm choke. You know, again, this is a, a choke that's, you're already there, it's too late, you didn't see it. There's a couple of things that you've gotta do and I'll go over them slowly. I'll bring Ali in. First thing that has to happen, the minute I feel this choke coming in, hey, give me a minute. <laughs> the minute I feel this, what I've got to do is I've got to, again, set down, again, with my butt, my head, and my feet all in line. I'm, we, we see this, this is where the pressure is, is right here in the joint. And so I see guys fighting a choke like this right here. This is where the pressure is, but this is not where the leverage is. The leverage for loosening up this choke that's here, this is where you feel it. And so this is where you have a, a tendency to want to take the pressure off. The, pre the leverage for taking the pressure off is out here on the wrist. That's where you want to go. That's where I want to take the pressure off as I sink down. Now the panic of me not being able to breathe is over. Okay? Now I sit down. I come inside. 
I bring my hip into him where I'm now facing him. Notice where I've got him off balance because he has not let go of this attack. I'm going to go from right here, this hand that was supporting the choke or defending the choke. I'm going to come inside, wrap around his waist to this side, step in with my hip, throw him down. Now I have the option of punches, kicks, kicks, face stomps, and that's what I want to do. We'll just go ahead and show that from the other side. What I'm going to do, once again, just go ahead and come from this side. Same thing, this side. Again, I don't want to uh, block the shield, the choke here. The first thing I have to do is defend the actual choke. I have to be able to breathe to fight. I'm going to set my weight down, giving him something to do. See that? My weight is set down. Now he has to work. I'm going to slide from the corner of the arm out to the wrist. Now I step in. At this point right here, I come out with my arm on this side, step around, and throw, winding up back in this position. And I'm going to pull down, turn in, I'll go this side, and, and now I have easy access to this outside leg. I pulled this arm in. This hand is just simply going to go outside to his hip on this side. I'm going to step in. Right here, you need to take note that my hip is lower than his hip. I still have my block on the choke on the inside. And I just simply turn, pivot here, and now I have availability of all my strikes. That is one of my, what I think is one of the best defenses against a rear arm choke. Hey, final notice about the 15 Brutal Fight Enders. It's simple, easy to learn, and devastatingly effective training taught to special forces, but typically not to civilians. You can get it for free in the description. Just hurry, I doubt this is going to be around for long, so I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.